What's up everyone? It's Anson. Welcome to Two New Heights. If this is your first time, then I hope you like the video and subscribe if you do. We're so close to 500 and I want to, I want 500 subscribers. Anyways, today I'm reviewing a backpack that is very close and dear to me. It is the Ortovox Traverse 18S. <laughs> So Ortobox, let's talk about them for a minute. I'm pretty sure they're into hardcore mountaineering. They have some insane backpacks. This costs about 92 bucks on Amazon for this particular model, black and gold. However, if you get another version of the Traverse, I'm sure it'll be almost the same. Ortovox advertises this bag for single day expeditions and I couldn't agree more. I use this for single day expeditions of literally every kind. I've used this hiking. I've used this going to the gym. I've used this rock climbing outdoors. I've used this mountain biking. I've used this skiing. It is an all-in-one bag and oh, oh my lord. It's really good at all of those things. Starting with how it looks on the outside, the material is extremely durable and water resistant too, not waterproof. I'll get to that later. You can see on the back, it has the Ortobox logo and Traverse 18S written. The design's pretty cool. It's almost this triangular pattern. Probably doesn't do much, it's just design, but I dig it. Getting right into it, let's talk about the straps. P.S. Yours does not come with a cute wooden carved bear whistle. It's broken. My bear is broken. Ortovox has what they call their comfort contact back system, which I don't know what the person was on when they named it. My back sweats a ton when I use this, so it's a sacrifice you have to make. You can see it's just pretty stiff padding, but it's not uncomfortable. I just get sweaty when I wear it. The straps are nothing incredible. It does have a across the chest strap, which you can adjust by sliding these buckles up and down. And then it has two hip straps. The one on the right also has a pouch, which you can store stuff in. What's in, there's something in here. What the heck? Rocks. Oh, these are from Alaska. I forgot about that. I brought this bag to Alaska and I collected rocks on a beach to bring home. That's pretty cool. Anyways, you don't have to put rocks in there, but it's good for like keys, granola bars, whatever. Now to the sides, there is a water bottle holder and two straps on both sides. The water bottle holders are really high quality. However, they do take the most wear simply because they're mesh and elastic, but they do work really well. I can put an Nalgene in here and don't have to worry about it falling out. Ortovox does advertise that the straps do work for holding skis, and I had to test it out. So right after getting this, when I hit the slopes, I strapped my skis to the side and it worked directly as advertised. The skis even kind of angle out a little bit, so when you're walking, your legs aren't hitting the side. However, it does make it a little obnoxious for people around you. Now, let's get onto our first compartment. On the top, there's a small zipper. It's nothing crazy, you open it and there's enough room for like a phone, your wallet, some snacks. I've got some sanitary wipes, a microfiber, but it's just really easy to access and I just, I don't know, I like it. Your biggest zipper is gonna be the one closest to your back, right under the handle. It opens all the way around, so you can open it like this and just dump stuff in, which is really good for if you're in a hurry. Hopefully you're not. Okay, I feel like you need a quick explanation. This was the best way I could think of to make the bag look full for the B-roll. Otherwise, it looks, well, deflated. There's a stiff board in the back to give you support and then a sleeve so you can fit a hydration pack. On the very top, there's a little flap that you can put it through and it goes to the, you'll know what I mean. That sleeve keeps your hydration pack out of the way of your other gear and allows you to put the tube through the back onto your strap. That's what those elastic things were for. If we close that up, we'll take a look at the next zipped compartment. That one's underneath the small one we just looked at and it doesn't open quite as much, but there's still a lot of room inside. As well as a little card that comes with each of the bags. This is really cool and you don't wanna get rid of it. And this is really where Ortovox goes the extra mile. They have an emergency card. And if you look on the back, it shows you how to signal an emergency, whether with your arms or with the whistle. Whistle. 
Forgot to mention, it's on the front strap where your back goes. Only use it for emergencies, because it's an emergency whistle. So you just slide that back in that pocket. Someone will find it if you get stuck, hopefully. What they might not find is the super secret compartment. Unzip it, and woohoo! It's just like any other pocket. I usually keep stuff in here that I just want to forget about. Compass, flint and steel, stuff for emergencies. That's what I put in that pocket. But wait, there's more. We have a buckle. Undo this buckle and you have another pocket. This one just has elasticity to keep it shut, so don't put any valuables in there, but it's good for keeping snacks and the helmet strap. Here is that helmet strap. Comes with the bag and it's just really elastic and it has four clips, which go on four corresponding loops outside of the bag. Clip each of these in and you're good to go. It's not the most secure helmet strap in the world, so be a little careful, make sure it's still there every couple of minutes, right? You don't want to turn around and not see a helmet, that would be scary. Moving on. On the bottom is the waterproof cover. I said earlier, this bag's not waterproof, it's more of water resistant. Well, Ortobox got your back. Ortobox got your back. Take this out, mine's a neon green, so you know what it is, I guess. It is connected by a little buckle. Just undo that, and it is free to go. Holds on by just wrapping around the top and it is big enough to hold it even when it is full. So if it's snowing really hard or raining really hard, you're gonna wanna bring this out. Otherwise, I don't think you need it. I have brought this skiing for two years and it's never been soaked all the way through. Sure, the bottom gets wet because I fall on my butt, but it's okay. I broke an elastic strap. This is where the bag failed me. I thought Ortovox had my back and then it broke. It's tragic. Now it was me being stupid. I got this bag and I took this out of the bottom and started pulling on straps and ended up breaking it. So just be careful and you'll be okay. Think of it as like an emergency head poncho. If it's raining and you're like, I didn't bring a raincoat, then put that over your head and then at least your brain won't freeze. That's about all there is to it. Simple and complex. That's what I see Ortovox as. This bag really excels in all different areas and no matter what you're thinking of doing, no matter if you're a skier or a rock climber or a biker or a commuter, if you're going on an adventure and you need something that will hold your gear reliably, this bag will really deliver. That's it for this review. I'll have a link in the description to Amazon and Ortovox's website. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please subscribe 500, I want 500, okay? Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Tuna Heights.